Hello there, people of God. God bless you and aloha. I am still here in Hawaii. I know you're jealous. We're praying for you. Listen, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm so glad you're joining us. People of God, there is an upgrade in the supernatural, an upgrade in the prophetic. So I want you to tag your friends, uh, invite somebody, share this on your wall. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to have our good friends, Dr. Hakeem Naeem Collins, joining us. My goodness, the twin prophets. They are a dynamic duo. The Bible says one puts to flight a thousand, but two puts to flight ten thousand. So, people of God, there is a not just a double double anointing. There's a triple anointing because I consider myself a triplet with them. <laughs> Hallelujah! But hey, I want you to give some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall because in a few minutes I'm gonna have Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins on. It's gonna be powerful. Listen, do you need an upgrade? I want you to say upgrade. Do you need an upgrade in your life? Do you believe that this is a season of increase and acceleration? Listen, people of God, I believe that even through this virtual broadcast, God wants to do something supernatural in your life. The anointing is tangible. The glory knows no boundaries. So be hungry, be ready, be expectant. Praise God. I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because in a few minutes we're going to have the men of God jump on. It's going to be powerful. Amen. And as you're logging on, I want you to comment below. Where are you watching from? Let us know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Comment below where you are watching from so that I can give you a shout out. Praise God. But people of God, we want the numbers. We want the views to increase before we bring in the men of God. Praise God. We need the atmosphere. We need the hunger. We need the audience to be right and perfect before we bring on the men of God. Amen. So let us know where you are watching from. And I will give you some shout outs here. Praise God. We have Laura Chandler says upgrade. Marina from Ontario. Hallelujah. Ayo hey, Thomas. Ayo hey, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, Angela Sai from Alhambra, California. Simona Foleta from Northern Cali. God bless you. Javian, blessings to you from Dallas right now, huh? Amen. Prophetess Ivana says, upgrade. Gainesville, Georgia from Isaiah. Brooke Wilson from Oregon. Hallelujah. Laura Chandler from Maryland. Rebecca from Bishopville, South Carolina. Listen, people of God. I'm so excited. Listen, this is a day of your favor. This is a day of your salvation. And let me tell you, God's about to do something so powerful here. And I know that there is a word for you, not just a corporate word, but there is a specific personal word that God's going to release over you. Can I get an amen? So let us know where you were watching from. JC Jason from South Africa, one of our good friends, Moro, Georgia, Texas, Norma, Zebara, Brusa, Tarabrata. Yes, Gilbert Luna from Tejas. Praise the Lord. Listen, people of God, I want you to begin to invite your friends. Invite your friends. Invite your haters. Begin to bring some people on today. In the name of Jesus, there is going to be a powerful word, a prophetic upgrade for you. I know on the East Coast, it's about 9 p.m. in Cali time, West Coast. It is 6 p.m. and I'm here in Hawaii and it's just about 3 p.m. Praise God. But people of God, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall because there is an upgrade in the prophetic. Someone say upgrade. Praise God. Now, people of God, before I bring in the men of God, I want to make a few quick announcements before I bring in the men of God, okay? Of course, next Monday on July 25th, I am doing a free Zoom webinar. I'm doing a free webinar called Exposing Christian witchcraft. Let me tell you, some of the worst witches, warlocks I've ever met in my life are so-called Christians, are people in the church. Jesus said to be aware of wolves in sheep clothing. Also, Jesus says in Matthew 24 that in the end times, the first sign of the end times is great deception. So I want to talk to you about exposing Christian witchcraft, and I believe there's going to be breakthrough in your life. So if you're experiencing manipulation, deception, blindness, korraba, I want you to register and jump on and join in Jesus' name. And of course, uh, in the month of August, we have a powerful conference, which the Twin Prophets and I, we're going to be talking about in a little bit. But in the month of August, we're going to be in Orlando. We are doing a Burning Ones conference in Orlando uh, with Steve Swanson, incredible artist, musician,
prophetic psalmist extraordinaire. It's going to be powerful. God is raising up the burning ones. God is raising up the seraphim angels, people who are burning with the fire and the glory and the presence of God. Can I get an amen? So that is going to be so powerful. So join us. Jump in, fly in, drive in, crawl in, do whatever you have to do, people of God. Listen, people are even swimming in from Cuba, okay? So you need to be a part of this move because God's going to do something supernatural. Amen. Listen, people of God, I'm so happy you're here. You're joining us. I'm so excited. I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Once again, this is one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. But let me tell you, I have two friends with me today, and they are probably my favorites as well. Yes, God has favorites. And let me tell you, God wants to favor you as well above all. Can I get an amen? So let me know where you are watching from, and give us some hearts and likes, and share this on your wall. My goodness, people of God, I can feel the power of Jesus. I feel such a hunger and such an expectation. If you are hungry, for the more of the Lord. If you're hungry for a prophetic upgrade today, I want you to comment upgrade. Praise God. Well, people of God, listen, I am going to have our friends jump on right now. Everybody, I want you to give us some hearts and likes as we welcome the men of God. First, I want to welcome Dr. Hakeem Collins. God bless you, man of God. Welcome to the broadcast today. Blessings to you, Dr. Ben. I'm so glad to be with you tonight. I, I miss you. Aloha. Um, all the way from Delaware. Come on, aloha all the way from Delaware. Listen, the last time we were together, we were actually here in May in Hawaii, and it was incredible, wasn't it? Um, it was a glorious time in the presence of God, and just the move of God was just there, healing signs and wonders, breakthrough. Um, so we're just excited about what God's going to do even on this uh, broadcast. Those who are tuning in, those who are watching, listen, this is your season, this is your time. Get ready for the glory of God to be revealed to you like never before. Come on, so good, absolutely. And something happens when the right gift anointings come together. And I believe something special is going to happen today. If you believe it, say amen. Now, I want to invite Dr. Naeem Collins. Oh, my goodness, and you guessed it. Dr. Hakeem and Naeem, they are twins. Oh, my goodness, they are twins, all right? Dr. Naeem, God bless you, my friend. Welcome to the broadcast today. God bless you, and Dr. Ben, uh, good seeing you tonight. Um, look forward to being with you also in August, and I'm also uh, excited to be on with my brother, Dr. Hakeem. So again, as my brother said, aloha from all the way from Wilmington, Delaware. Wow, praise God. Well, I invite both of you, and I love and I honor both of you, and actually all three of us, we are going to be together physically together in Orlando, August for the Burning Ones Conference with Steve Swanson. Uh, he's going to be leading worship. It's going to be powerful. Uh, I just want uh, the both of you just to share very quickly, what are you expecting for that Burning Ones Conference in Orlando in August? We already know Orlando is a huge Christian hub. Come on, somebody. Florida State is a state of revival. I love Florida. It's one of my homes. I go there about three, what, three to five times a year, okay? But I believe even in the midst of Orlando being such a hub of all this charismatic moves of God, there's going to be something special with this conference. Amen. So uh, Dr. Hakeem and then Naeem, talk to us. What are you expecting about this Burning Ones conference? And let's invite the people to join and to come at the fly-in as well. So talk to us. What are you expecting about this? Yeah, what I'm expecting, well, number one is, what the title of the theme of the conference or the meeting is burning ones. I believe that God is going to ignite the fire um, that was um, put out. There have been those who have felt like the gifts or the call of the anointing or um, the passion has burned out. And I believe that the Lord is going to reignite the passion. He's going to reignite the desire to move into the things or the greater things that he has for them. I believe that he is going to set your hearts on fire. I believe there's going to be extreme worship and radical worship um, unhindered. I believe that this is going to be a season for many of you. Um, if you make your way to Orlando, I want to I want to pitch this to you that this is a season that you do not want to miss the Kairos moments of God. There are seasons of God. There's times of God that you must be in the place. You must be in the building, not just virtually. You need to be in that place 
place. And I believe Orlando um, is a hub for not just for revival, but I believe that as you come in, in that place, you're going to begin to see that there's going to be miracles and healing and signs and wonders. But there's going to be such a prophetic word that's going to be released to you personally. And that's why you need to be in that place, because God is going to set you on fire. There's going to be uh, just this move of God. And I believe that he's, not, he's going to touch the Gen Zs. I believe that we're going to see the young generation come. We're going to see the millennials. We're going to see uh, even the uh, baby boomers. We're going to see the merging of generations come together in one place in Orlando. And they're going to be, their hearts going to be set on fire. They're going to be set ablaze and they're going to be ignited to do what God has called them to do. See the pandemic or the plandemic, I, I, I put a lot of fire out, that personal fire, that that desire for ministry, that desire for whatever business or call that has that God has on your life, it's, it 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 calls your your fire to be burned out. But I believe that God is going to reignite the lampstands, and He's going to breathe upon you, and you're going to see revival like you've never known. Not only personal revival, but you're going to see global revival as we begin to um, assemble in that place in Orlando. So you need to be there at the Burning Ones Conference. Wow, my goodness, people of God, I felt the fire on that already. Listen, if you are expecting a reignition, a igniting of first love, the fire of God, this conference is for you. It's going to be so powerful. And Dr. Akeem, as you were talking, I was just reminded, I actually have some special guests in the Orlando, Florida area that's going to be coming in. So we got some nice treats up our sleeve for this conference. You already know. So Dr. Naim, what are you sensing, man? I got to talk to us. Why should our friends, our support, why should these people come to this conference, even though there's so many other ministries, hubs in Orlando area? Why should they come? Uh, yeah, Pastor Ben, I believe it's important for you to be there. Um, even as my brother has stated, uh, that any time that their prophets are gathering in a region, in a territory, I believe that it's imperative to be able to move with the Spirit of God. And I believe that you have to be there, even though there are a number of conferences and meetings going on probably around that time. And also, I believe this is a nice excuse for you to be in the nice Florida, Orlando area. Uh, but I believe that as the Lord is going to do something very uh, strategic, um, I, I sense very strongly uh, there's going to be personal revival. Um, even as my brother has declared, as the prophet has declared, um, that I believe that this is going to be personal revival for many of you that meet us down in Orlando. I'm telling you, some feel discouraged, some of you feel burnt out, you feel fatigued, and even as the prophet has said that even during this pandemic or the pandemic, uh, some of your fires have burned out. Uh, you seemingly feel that you're not the same, you know, but you also know that that your passion is not the same. And I believe that as you come to Orlando, as you come to that region, God's going to give you a personal touch from heaven. I'm telling you, there's going to be a reignition. There's going to be a setting ablaze. I believe that some of you that the Lord has placed upon you burdens and I believe that God is going to reestablish burdens that's going to come upon you where you, you will have a new thrust. You will have a new vigor. I believe the spirit of the Lord is going to meet you there and he's going to breathe upon you again. There's a refreshing that will come surely uh, that's, that's going to come from the presence of God. Meet us in Orlando because as the prophets are gathering, I believe that you have to be there because God is going to reignite. And he's also, I believe that the glory of God is going to be made manifested. I believe visions are going to be uh, uh, clear. There's going to be much clarity that's going to take place as you come. I believe that many of you, the Lord is going to touch you with the freshness and the uh, the oil is going to come upon you in a new way. So get ready because this is going to be that season. So you got to be there. As the prophet said, listen, if you got to swim there, you got to fly there, you got to walk there, you got to Uber there. I don't care how you get there. Listen, God is going to meet you there and he's going to meet the level of your expectation. So when you put a demand on heaven, heaven will supply all of your needs. My goodness, listen, people of God, if you have a shoe, you need to throw your shoe across the room because I feel the Holy Ghost already. My goodness, listen, this broadcast is super powerful. Imagine what it's like with Steve Swanson's anointing and work. Oh, my goodness. It is going to be dynamic, a game changer. Something's going to shift so powerfully. I can't wait. So I'm going to be there. Dr. Akeem, Dr. Naeem will be there. Steve Swanson. Uh, I, I saw in the, in the comment, somebody, Victoria Caballero, says that she's going to be coming. Uh, so praise God. God is good. Amen. Come on. I want everybody to give the Lord a clap right now and give us some hearts and likes right now. People of God, now we're going to the meets of today. I'm excited because we're talking about prophetic upgrade. 
And I don't know about you, but I want an upgrade in the glory. I want to increase. I want to accelerate. I want to go up levels. What does that mean? When you have a prophetic upgrade, it means that you become sharper. It means your vision becomes more crystal clear. It means that you increase or elevate at such a level that the air quality you breathe is different. So there is an upgrade. And as I was praying, as I'm bringing my friends and my brothers on the broadcast, as we're doing this thing together, I felt the Lord say prophetic upgrade because there's an upgrade in the glory. The prophetic will upgrade you. Someone say upgrade. So if you're hungry and if you're ready to receive today, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because there is going to be word revelation and there's going to be rhema and impartation prophetic glory that's going to fall in your life. If you're ready to receive today, someone say amen. So as I was thinking about this topic, the subject on prophetic upgrade, I just want to set the tone and the standard, and I want to pass the mic to Dr. Hakeem and Dr. Naeem, but here, what's interesting, the definition of upgrade, and Miriam Webster definition, the definition of upgrade is to raise or improve the grade. Okay. Now, I don't know about you, but I had bad grades in school. Okay. Uh, thank God uh, that I passed high school. And, uh, you know, by the grace of God, I, I hold a doctorate degree of, of theology. But I used to cheat. Okay. I used to cheat in school. And I had bad grades in school when I was an unbeliever. I was always high on dope and et cetera, et cetera. I was just a knucklehead. But I had bad grades. But you see, when you upgrade, that means that you begin to get better grades. It means that the quality of life begins to increase. Some would say quality, and that is the abundant life mantle. Jesus says in John 10, 10, the Son of Man came so that you may have abundant life, life all the more, life in abundance, the fullness, everyone say fullness, which literally means on earth as it is in heaven, which literally means as Jesus was, so are we. So that word upgrade, some would say upgrade, that word upgrade means to raise your grade improve come on who wants a raise in your salary who wants a raise in your finances who wants a raise okay so it means to improve the grade of or the quality of you already know me i like to grill i like some good steaks okay so there is a grade or a quality level to steaks to meats no i don't want bill gates plastic meats i don't want meat from china i want meat from american great so or maybe from australia or kobe and all of our kobe Bryant fans said amen but to upgrade means that there's a level or a rank there's a level or a rank or an intensity or a value and let me tell you the prophetic can upgrade you the prophetic can increase your value my goodness the prophetic the spirit of God, the spirit of prophecy will upgrade the quality of your life, will upgrade the quality of everything around you. Come on, somebody who you knows is not just about quantity. It's about quality. I don't know about you, but I would rather have one beautiful home instead of, you know, 10 little, you know, 10 little shacks that are, you know, in the ghetto. OK, I want one beautiful home. OK, I want one Ferrari versus five Pintos. All right. So it's about the quality of something. And so an upgrade will cause your quality, your value to increase. And I believe right now in this broadcast, God wants to release a prophetic upgrade. He wants to release the prophetic to upgrade you. And he wants to increase you in the prophetic. Praise God. Who's ready for an upgrade? So all of you right now, if you're ready for an upgrade, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because now I'm going to pass the mic to Dr. Hakeem. Man of God, talk to us. What comes to your mind as you're thinking about prophetic upgrade or what is the Lord speaking to you concerning this time, this hour concerning prophetic upgrade? Talk to us, man of God. Um, yes, when I what comes to mind when you the word or the term upgrade, um, I always look at it as improvement. I believe that that the word upgrade also speaks of improvement or proving something or, or improving something. Um, for example, or to be very practical, I have a C three I have a C three hundred, right? But or a C class. But in order for me to upgrade, I must upgrade from a C class to an E class or from an E class to an S class. Um, so it's an upgrade, something higher, as you mentioned about higher rank. Um, and so if you, if you have an iPhone 7, um, you need to upgrade 
to an iPhone, um, you know, whatever is out now, a 12 or whatever. So the point is, is this, is that God is calling many of us in this season to upgrade, to never stay on the same level, to never be complacent, to never stay stuck. I'm reminded in Revelation 4, 1, it, it, when John was having um, encounters with God, uh, one, he heard a voice, he heard an angelic voice, and it was basically saying, God was basically saying, come up hither that I may show you things that you have not known or you have not seen. And so with the prophetic, you have to understand that God will always require you not to go down, but he'll always require you to go, come higher or come to another level. And so there's a voice that God is releasing and there's voices that he's releasing in your life in this hour that will cause you or challenge you to stretch beyond your the norm, to stretch beyond where you are. And some of you are comfortable where you are. And the Lord is saying prophetically, this is the season to upgrade, upgrade your prayer life, upgrade the way you fast or you consecrate. You have to upgrade your level of reading and, and, and worshiping God in your devotion time. Whenever you stay on the same level, you'll never receive a, even a greater measure or results of what God wants you to have. Because if, 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 if you're clockable, then that means that the enemy can, um, can mark you and know you, um, he just can mark you. So I believe in this season, the Spirit of the Lord is saying in this hour that we must upgrade, that we must incline our ears, incline to upgrade is to also incline your ears, yet your ears must be um, to another level. Um, there's a frequency when you even go higher in an airplane, you're, the frequency of your hearing changes. It's almost like it sounds like you're getting deaf, but you're not. It's just that everything is zeroing in on a specific sound. And I believe in this season, as you go higher in God or you ascend, that's a, that's another term or synonym for upgrade is to ascend. And so many of you in this season, the Lord is saying prophetically, this is time to ascend. If you're getting the same results that you've been always getting is because you have never or you have not challenged yourself to upgrade or you have not ascended to another level. So I believe this is the word of the Lord for many of you out of Revelation 4.1, that this is the season that is the voice of God is being released in your life to, to respond to him and to just upgrade because God wants to show you some great things. He wants to show you revelation. He wants to show you some things that you have not seen before. This is practical. This is not super deep or super spiritual. This is something very simple. And how you upgrade is based on your decision. Where you are today is based off your decision to stay where you are. You can make a decision to, sh to shift or to pivot. And when you pivot, you're making a shift to turn, but you also, you're shifting upwards. I believe in this season that God wants to improve you. He wants you to come to another level and higher standard. He also wants to, now, that, now, that, now the word upgrade also means this, Dr. Ben, and those who are listening, it also means add, to add to improve or to add to something, but it also means to, or to replace. So in this season, when God is removing or replacing some things, I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen, th that means that he is saying, I'm trying to upgrade. So there's some things in your life that he wants to remove in order for you to go up. There are some things, people, places, and things in your life that you must remove or replace. God wants to replace what? Something old and bring something new. That's upgrade. When when you're uh, when you're uh, in this in a season of the same old same old, you have not upgrade. You downgraded. So God is breaking the norm. He is breaking um, these uh, these same old patterns, and He wants you to come to another level in Him in this season. And when you when you decide to pivot and upgrade, I'm telling you, you're going to see supernatural things begin to happen in your life. Your your finances will upgrade. Your your business will upgrade. Your ministry will upgrade. Everything connected to your marriage, your finances, everything will begin to upgrade by just you changing your thought and making a decision and say, "Listen, this is the season that I will not stay." the same. This is the season that I will not stay stuck. This is the season that I will not stay complacent. I make a decision to improve and I'm going to, I want God to supernaturally add to my life and whatever he or whoever he wants to remove or replace, let him do it because this is the season you're going to see acceleration like never before. So that's what the word of the Lord for many of you that are listening right now. My goodness, some would say upgrade because right now God is improving. You know, God is causing us to take things out of our lives, to realize 
that there may be some blinders, some areas of deception or stagnation. Remember, Jesus said that he will prune and he will cut, okay? So he cuts the dead things, but he prunes what is working and what is doing good. So meaning the thing that is blessing you, the thing that is benefiting you, he wants you to dial in on that. I love Kobe Bryant because Kobe Bryant, he will continue to practice day in and day out when everybody was sleeping or partying or drinking around. But Kobe would be focused and he would just increase and improve on a skill level. Let me tell you, it's not enough for you to be anointed, but you also need to be skilled. Come on, somebody. It's not enough for you to be cares weird, but you also need to be skilled. It's not enough for you to be anointed, but you also need to be skilled. That's why the psalmist David said, he has anointed my hands to play skillfully because there is a skill and there is a realm and there's a level. And I believe God wants to release an upgrade. He wants to improve things in your life and he wants to raise you up so that you will be that standard, so that you will be the benchmark. Listen, a lot of people are passing. Men and women of God are passing right now. There's a lot of natural disasters. Many things are shifting. Batons are being released. Mantles are being transferred. But even in midst of this, we need to increase our stature. We need to upgrade our wisdom. We need to upgrade our mentality, our ways of thinking. Because let me tell you, we need to go higher. All right, our, the shoulders of our parents, they are our floors, not our ceilings. And we need to step on those floors and go higher and go up Jacob's ladder. Dr. Naeem, talk to us, man of God. When it comes to this subject, and as your brother, Dr. Hakeem and myself, as we're talking about prophetic upgrade, what is coming to your mind, to your spirit, and what has the Lord shown you, instructed you to speak today? And people of God, as we have Dr. Naeem, come on, somebody, I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because we're about to upgrade and go to another level. Talk to us, man. I got Dr. Naeem. Well, let me tell you, um, some of the things that, that you guys have shared is very, very powerful. And I hope that those that are watching is really soaking this up. You had said something very powerful, Dr. Ben, and it was just a, a word that, that you said that it's, not, it's more than just being anointed. Uh, what comes to me um, about upgrade is, of course, we know is about to come higher. Uh, uh, changing the quality. Um, and so I love that you said something about it's, it's more than just being anointed, but it's also be skillful. And one of the things about in this season that is going to be imperative for many of you that are watching about that, that you're entering into a season of upgrade, because what's going to happen is God is about to change your company. God is about to change uh, the, those that are around about you. Why? Because the people that you are supposed to rub shoulders with are going to be key to introduce you to a new season. They're going to introduce you to some things that you've never experienced before. And so oftentimes when there is upgrade, you're experiencing a freshness. And so David understood the importance of being uh, uh, upgrade because he says uh, uh, to anoint my head with fresh oil. But I found it that it was imperative that it's not just the oil, Dr. Ben, uh, Dr. Hakeem, but, but you have to get around the right company. And so mm -hmm. what I'm saying about that is that, that Samuel the prophet, even after Saul was freshly anointed king, he needed an upgrade. And what did the prophet say to him? He said, there is a company of prophets. There is a synergy of prophetic anointing uh -huh. that are coming down from a, a place of ascension, from a high place. And these people are skillful and they're activating and they're moving in frequency. They're moving in a higher dimension. And so though that you are anointed, but you got to get around some skillful people. Come on. You got to get around some individuals that understand that dimension. They understand that level. And so what I'm saying to many of you, when you understand prophetic upgrade, God is about to change your company. Hear me. He's about to change your contacts in your phone. Listen, when God is upgrading you, He's going to introduce you to people that you've never seen before, that you never heard before. God is about to put you in the room. Hear me tonight. And so I believe prophetically is that you got to get around a synergy of anointing. And so you've heard the prophetic word that God has called you to be a millionaire. God has called you. So when what happens? God has to put you in the company of millionaires because they will upgrade your way of thinking. Come on. They will begin when you love with the right anointing, what comes on them falls upon you. Get it? Hear me. And so what God wants to do, he wants to upgrade your way of thinking. He wants to understand, help you to understand that the, the language, he's changing your language for wealth. He's changing your language for business. He's changing your language. And so though Saul was anointed, he had to get around some prophets. 
He had to get around some individual that is that are that is functioning at a higher level. And so in this season, your 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 key to upgrade is you got to change your partners. You got to change your individuals. You got to change your connections. There are some things that even the prophet declared, as my brother said, that you going God's going to replace some people, and He's going to add value to you. He's going to add some assets to you. Amen. He's removing the liability. Amen. He's giving you some people that will honor you. Come on. And so in this season. Listen, people, it's going to change in your life. God is saying, don't get mad. Don't get frustrated. When you start seeing new people, that is a sign that God is upgrading you. That is a sign that God is putting you in the room. That is a sign that God is making you to rub shoulders because there's some impartation that you need. Come on. And so in this season, you got to get around the right company. You got to get around the right synergy. You get a, you got to get around the right frequency. Somebody's talking a different language. Somebody's going to change your speech. Come on, you got to be able to understand in this season, I got to learn. I got to research. I got to develop. Amen. If I got to go back to school, I got to go back to school. If I got to get, listen, one thing about a, a prophetic upgrade, amen, you ain't got to spend 30 years, 50 years, 100 years. Listen, you get around the right company, you rub the right shoulders, they will introduce you in, into a new season like it's nobody's business. Come on. So I believe prophetically in this season, get Get ready because God is about to change the people around about you. Listen, God's going to increase you as the word upgrade means increase. Also, the word upgrade also means a usefulness of something. Some of you felt like you're being uh, not used in this season. You feel like you're being overlooked. Uh, you be, feel like that you're being undervalued. Uh, but I've come to declare to you. I've come to prophesy to you. I've come to tell you tonight that this is your season of upgrade. Uh, and God says that this is the season as you embrace your prophetic word. As you embrace, God said, this is the season to move at the speed of your revelation. Come on. And so upgrade also means to replace or to exchange. And just as I'm reminded of when there is a new version or a new model, just like every year or every two years, our iPhones, amen. I want y'all to be apostolic. Come on. So for those that are still, uh, still on Android, come on, throw that away. It's time for an upgrade. Come on. And so when you got to know that in this season, uh, that any time there is a new a version of something, there is a new model of something as you upgrade your vehicle. What happens is people start looking at you. Why? It's something better. It's something new. But also what I recognize, hear me tonight, what I recognize when there is a new model or new version, it increases the demand. Y'all don't hear me tonight. Y'all gonna hear me tonight. Whenever something new comes out, there is a new demand. It creates a, a, a hunger for a new demand. Come on. And so what I believe is that when new models are coming out, people want it. Um, when new models or better quality of things come out, people are, are attracted to it. And so what I'm saying to many of you that you got to upgrade because it's going to increase your demand. Come on. It's going to increase mm. the demand on your oil. It's going to increase the anointing on your life. So you got to increase. So that's why David said, anoint my head with fresh oil that my cup would run over so that God will prepare a table in the presence of his enemies. Come on. And so you got your haters when you people are hating on you and people are jealous of you and they don't like you is because you upgraded. Come on. If, if, if people don't like you and they're resisting you or there's opposition is because you desire to step into a new season. This is your season of prophetic upgrade. Woo. My goodness. Come on. I need you to shout, clap your hands, walk around the room, get your tambourine. My goodness. Dr. Hakeem Naim, that was so powerful. And you know what? What comes to my mind, man of God, even as you're speaking, Dr. Naim, what comes to my mind is that David came on the scene. Remember, David came out of nowhere. He was not one of the trained military men. He was not one of the chosen warriors that went through the boot camp. Come on, somebody. All right. Many people, they fail or they exit or they die even in the boot camp because it's so strong. It's so uh, notorious for weeding out the weaklings. But David bypassed those things because he had a different training camp. He had a training camp in the presence of God. And you see, David came on the scene. He appeared. And as he appeared, as he descended, as he came down into the valley so he could confront Goliath, all of the warriors were intimidated. All of the warriors were jealous. Come on, somebody. Listen, sometimes an upgrade will 
will be unusual. An upgrade will make you feel uncomfortable. An upgrade will be so brand new, so new that it makes you feel weird. It makes you feel awkward. Come on, somebody. I remember years ago when I used to be drug dealing, gang banging, I used to wear big baggy hip hop clothes, okay? I shaved head, big baggy hip hop clothes. But when I got born again, I gave my life to Jesus. I said, my goodness, what are these things called skinny jeans? What are these things called clothes that fit on me? So I had to change. It felt uncomfortable. It felt unusual. But it's because I became a new creation. It's because things began to shift in my life. Come on, who's hearing me right now? I believe right now, even as David appeared on the scene, your appearance is going to intimidate many people. Your appearance is going to intimidate devils. Just your presence, just the fact that you're there. You don't even have to say a word. Pastor Suzanne Hand calls it silent intercession. Just because your presence is there, Jezebel and Delilah will have to be quiet. They cannot act up even more just because you're there. Your appearance is an upgrade. I believe right now God wants to show off a new appearance. He wants to manifest something fresh and new in your life. Listen, David came out of the cave. You are about to come out of the cave like Elijah. Uh, Moses was running away, but Moses returned. You're also about to return to your place of your greatest fears. Oh, David fell with Bathsheba, but even afterwards, God called him a man after his own heart. Listen, God is saying you can return. You can experience restoration. I believe in the season. God is saying it's time for you to come out of smallness. It's time for you to come out of comfort, out of hiding. God is causing you to ascend and to come out. Come on, somebody. God is causing you to step out and to be bold because there is an upgrade. Hear me now, people of God. When you upgrade, when you upgrade your thoughts, you will upgrade your life. When you change your thinking, you will change your destiny. When you change your prayer life, you will begin to change the weight of your life. When you begin to change your prayer, when you change your oil, you already know that you need to change your oil about every three to four months in your car. All right. If you don't change your oil in the car, it begins to smell. People be like, what is that stank? And when you don't change your oil, when you don't upgrade, come on, somebody, when you do not upgrade and change your oil, then there's going to be a stench and it's going to destroy your engine. My goodness, God is saying, I'm about to change your oil because it's time for an upgrade. You need to perform better. You need to drive further. You need to go higher. There's new places, new spaces you have not been to. So God is causing you to come out of hiding, come out of the wilderness, and he's going to anoint you for a prophetic upgrade. So this word prophetic upgrade, this red prophetic upgrade. God says, son, daughter, it's time for you to advance. It's time for you to come up higher. Step into the unknown, the unprecedented, and watch what God's going to do. It may make you feel uncomfortable and weird and unusual, but let me tell you, you're going to go from being gossiped and slandered about to becoming the prototype, to becoming the leader, to becoming the head of all of Israel. Come on, somebody. Dr. Hakeem, what comes to your mind, man of God? Talk to us for another few minutes. What comes to your mind as we're talking about prophetic upgrade? Great. Talk to us, man of God. Yeah, one of the things that I look at is even when you have an issue at the hotel or you may be at a restaurant and there may be something going on with the service. Um, and then when you complain or you go to a manager or you go to someone that's an authority, um, one of the things that they will do is they will give you an upgrade. Um, and so I believe that some of you in this season, you've been in a season where you've been complaining because of the way things been in your life. And you, you, you've been in silent prayers and you've been, you know, having uh, these silent warfares that you've been going through. But in this season, I heard the Lord says that as you have taken your petitions unto me and as they had ascended to me, as they have upgraded to me, God says, now this is the season where I'm going to begin to now upgrade everything in your life. Uh, you've been waiting on God to do something in your job because you're. Your, your your employer overlooked you and, and they gave somebody the position and not you and you felt like you were more qualified than them and you served and you waited your turn or something happened in spite of uh, and you just been overlooked and I heard the Lord say to tell many of you in this season he has not overlooked uh, you he has not forsaken you he has not forgotten you this is the season where the Lord is going to upgrade you in this season every complaint that you have uh, in this season God is going to upgrade it every warfare that you had to go through everything 
anything that you felt like you have fallen and you haven't uh, got back up. The Lord said, this is the season to arise and shine for thy light has come and the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon you. When to arise is to make, to take action, to arise basically is a decision. It is an action word. To arise means to ascend or to upgrade because there's something on the inside of you. What is that something? It is the glory of the Lord. You have to realize what you have and what you possess. When I, when I got off of my job, I'm going to be very brief. When I got off my job and the Lord told me to leave my job and then the Lord tells me I go from a Chrysler 300 and the Lord says, now I want you to go get a Mercedes Benz. I said, I don't even like Mercedes Benz because I thought that was like a bishop's car. That's a pastor's car. I said, no, I like my car. I'm going a, I'm to a drive my car until the wheels uh, fall off. Why? Because I was I was content with mine. I was I was faithful over the car that I had. But the Lord says, no, this is the season, son. I'm going to raise your your I'm going to cause the tear of your life to increase. I'm going to upgrade you. I want you to upgrade. And I'm like, Lord, you know, I don't have a job. You just told me to get off the job. He said, no, I will supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. I want you to upgrade and I'm going to show you. And so I went from a Chrysler 300 to a, a to a Mercedes three, a C300. And so the Lord was saying, this is the season where I'm upgrading every area. And then he says, now I need you to go to a certain restaurant. And I felt uncomfortable because, you know, we so used to our McDonald's and our Wendy's and our Burger Kings. And the Lord says, no, I want to bring you to five star restaurants. And I want to show you. And so I want to change your palate. The Lord said, I'm changing many of your palate. I'm a change in your palate. Every seven years, your palate changes. Why? It has to upgrade. Even if you go to, uh, to certain... Um, hotels you what you look you look at the reviews why because why you want to see if this is a nice hotel you don't want to stay in a motel you want to get into a, a hotel but not only just a hotel you want to look at the stars is this a five star and the lord is saying in this season some of you've been very uncomfortable or where you are because you felt like you you're not valuable enough you're not worthy enough or you can't fit in those rooms or you can't uh, be among those people but if you get around the right people and you will rub shoulders that anointing will come upon you to upgrade you You'll start measuring their lives and automatically you'll start repeating what you see. If they eat at five star restaurants, you might not have the money, but just sit in there and just get some water and then everything will gravitate to you. I feel the anointing. This is the season to upgrade. Do not... Do not make no excuses of the season that you're in. You deserve it. You deserve it to eat that steak. You deserve it to eat that salmon. You deserve it. To, you deserve it. Why? Because you're a king's kid. So I want to just encourage you. I'm done. But the Lord said in this season, I'm making you uncomfortable. It's not the devil. It's the Lord making you uncomfortable because he's upgrading you and he's changing you and he's improving you and he is changing your company. He's replacing the old and he's bringing in the new in this season to upgrade you for the better and for the greater says the spirit of the lord my goodness my goodness people of god someone say upgrade because i believe that this is a season of upgrade as we are in the month of july okay of course july is the seventh month number seven in the gregorian calendar seven in hebrew means completion a finishing it means perfection so in this month i believe god is perfecting some things god is releasing you from some assignments okay there's a dead something and there's a new life of something god is bringing the old things to an end and now there's a new beginning so in this month of july i believe that god is bringing a finishing anointing to your life so that you could start into something special and something brand new People of God, we know that in this season right now, as I've been talking to you, this is the three weeks of mourning. And in these three weeks of mourning, this is the three weeks where the most destructive, detrimental, difficult times took place to all of the Jewish people of all the Bible. The temple was destroyed. The walls were breached. They were taken into slavery, into exile. The abomination, desolation took place. With the massacre of the onslaught, the slaughter of pig's blood, the false sacrifice to idols. There was so much uh, heinous things that happened in these three weeks. But in these three weeks of shift and change and destruction, where that portal or where that gate in the spirit opened up, God is going to reverse the curse and use it for good. So you can either downgrade or you can upgrade. You can either stay stagnant and say, this is my narrative. This is my finished product. This is my 
destiny. Or he can say enough is enough and you can step into an upgrade where things are going to shift. I believe in this three-week window, hear me now, even by the end of the month of July, there's going to be such an increase and such an upgrade in your life on all fronts, on all areas. There is an ending of something and there's the beginning of something. God is perfecting something special in your life. Dr. Naeem, what are your last thoughts right now as we're about to step into the prophetic as we begin to minister to some people? Man of God, talk to us. What comes to your mind as we bring this to a close? Yes, as we as we are entering into this season of prophetic upgrade, I want you all to hear us tonight uh, as the prophets has been declaring. Um, what's reminding me of, it brings me back to 2 Kings chapter 6, and there was a company of prophets, a school of the prophets that were there. And one of the prophets, there was a discontentment. There was something in his heart saying that the place that we are, that we are or the place that we dwell is too small for us. Uh, so he understood that they were in a place that, listen, they were limited. Uh, they understood that this was a season for them to expand. It was a season for them to grow. And so they said to the prophet, uh, the man of God, can we go to the Jordan? And so the man of God gave them permission. Let me tell you that some of your upgrade is that there's going to be a geographical shift. Some of you have to change your location. Amen. Not just your company, but I believe that some of you are stuck in the same place. You feel like you're stuck in the same season. You seem like your season is claustrophobic or where you are, you feel like there's, there's limited movement. And so they understood that in the school of the prophets, these prophets discerned that where they were was too small for them. Can I prophesy to those that are watching? that the place that you're in, it is too small. Can I say that you are too big from where you are? Listen, and so God is about to upgrade you. And what was key here is that the prophet gave him permission, gave them permission to expand. I come to let you know that God today gives you permission to upgrade. I don't, you don't need man's permission, uh, amen, to grow. You don't need man's validation and you don't need man's uh, endorsement uh, because God is saying that your word, your prophecy gives you the validation. It gives you the accreditation. It will give you the credential and the anointing. So the, listen, and so as they went, the Bible says that as they were using the ax uh, to cut down because they were preparing uh, for upgrade, they were preparing for expansion. And so as many of you in this prophetic upgrade, your, your instruction is to prepare. And many of you that as God gives you a prophetic word, mm -hmm. you sit on it, you got to prepare for it. You got to prepare for upgrade. You got to prepare for expansion. Amen. Even as my brother is preparing to plant, and so he's strategizing, he's coming up with strategy and, and strategic planning. He's not just sitting on his behind. He's moving. He's putting those words into action. And so some of you, many reason why you're not experienced upgrade, because you fail to move. Come on, you, you're, you're afraid of, of failure. Amen. But can I tell you something? Amen. That failure teaches success. Amen. So when I come to let you know tonight, I don't care how many times you failed at it. God said, go back again. I don't care what you, uh, what the teacher said, go back again. Because God said failure is the teacher. Uh -huh of success. Last thing here, Dr. Ben and Dr. Hakeem, listen, you got to know, amen, not only are you got to change your location, not only that you got to change your company, but the thing is that when he was striking down and uh, cutting down the tree, the scriptures declared that the ax head was dull. Come on. And so some of you are experiencing dullness. Uh, your tools are not working the way they used to work. Amen. It is not as effective. Uh, can we talk about the anointing? That's why you need an upgrade. Uh, you need a freshness. Uh, you need a sharpening. The Bible declares that iron sharpens iron. And so God's going to put you around the right irons, uh, around the right people, the right edges, uh, people that are not like everybody else, people, amen, that people are not comfortable around. And so as he was cutting down the tree, the Bible says that that the ax head flew off the handle. Can I uh -huh. preach? a few of you to let you know that some of you has lost your handle. Amen. You feel like it's lost your ability or your effectiveness. Mm. Come on. You've, you've lost, amen, your ability to flow uh, with the frequency of God, with the anointing of God, with your season. And so one of the things that he recognized when the, the axe head flew off the handle, what he said was Allah's master. Can I say this? Is that this is going to be the season that you got to get some masters around you. What I mean by that is people 
that the prophet said that are skillful, not just anointed, but someone that is skillful, that can sharpen you, that can give you a better edge, that can impart in you. And so I believe in this season that God is changing, amen, the tools that you're working with. He is sharpening it. And so they said, listen, master, so God is putting you around experts, people that has impartation, people that has tenure, people that has experience, people that know what they're talking about, and people that are proven. This is the season to get around masters and experts, uh, doctors, uh, those that have knowledge, those that have wisdom, those that know what they're talking about, those that are proven and has the oil to back it up. Get ready for this prophetic season because the prophet helped the prophet to relocate where he's lost it. And I believe in this season, get ready because God is going to cause not just an upgrade, but this will be a season of recovery, says the spirit of the Lord. My goodness. Come on, people. Uh, give us some hearts and likes. This is so rich. There's so much word, rhema, revelation. The prophet said relocation. Let me tell you, I want to just brag on God real quick. And then we're going to begin to move into some personal ministry. If you want to receive a personal prophetic word today, I want you to comment me. Just begin to share this on your wall because I want to just brag on God. Okay. The month of June, we did uh, 13 cities of tent revivals. We went from Chicago all the way down Route 66 Highway all the way to Los Angeles. Many of you were probably following. Some of you probably weren't. That's okay. We did 13 cities, tent revivals, 35 days straight. Okay, 35 days straight, 13 cities, seven states, tent revivals, every day setting up, tearing down, miracle signs, wonders, water baptisms, the preach on the gospel. It was incredible. But as our team as we were out taking territory, gaining territory, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Oklahoma City, my God, as we were gaining territory for the Lord, guess what? My church building in Tustin, California, they sent us an email and they say, we're so sorry, but this is going to have to be your last Sunday service next week. Because unfortunately, the city of Tustin is not allowing us to meet and gather. So here we are. We're like, oh my goodness, the devil is a liar. We're taking ground for the enemy. Is this some backlash? Is there a door behind the scenes that's been opened? So here we are, we're taking territory, doing tent revivals, and our, our, our building that we were renting from for the last year sends us a sudden email that says, sorry, this is going to have to be your last Sunday, this coming Sunday. So what do we do? We shift it. We said, hey, God is good. Jesus is king. He's faithful. Come on, somebody. Even in midst of the housing market uh, that's just going bonkers and banana and the Fed increasing, you know, of course, uh, I don't want to get into politics right now, but we already understand all the shenanigans and all of the, uh, you know, the foolishness going on. But even in the midst of that, we said, all right, Lord, the church kicked us out suddenly. So we know you have a better plan. Some say better plan. So what do we do? For three Sundays, we shifted onto the beach. Three Sundays, we did beach Sunday service. That's why I got a nice glowing tan, hallelujah. Join us in Orlando if you want a tan like ours, praise God. So we had a wonderful three-week Sunday service, and all of a sudden, hear me now, people of God, we just moved into our new church building. And hear me now, for 20 years, I have been in a church uh, where our church was a, an industrial commercial building, or a commercial building. But now we are on one and a half acres in Orange County. We just moved into a church property, brand new parking lot. You can literally smell the fresh asphalt from the parking lot. You can still smell the fresh paint from the building wall. My goodness, we went from a commercial industrial building for our church for years. And all of a sudden, in three weeks, we stepped into a 1.5 acre building. There's a basketball court. There's grass. There's a playground area. Come on. So I said, there's grass. Okay, there's grass. There's a playground area. There's a basketball court. There's 120 parking spaces. Come on, somebody. You know, I'm from Southern California. This is almost impossible. And now we're sitting on one and a half acres, brand new church. But my goodness, God is so good. Favor ain't fair. And now we went from Sunday, and now we're doing Wednesday and Sunday service. And my goodness, come on. You need to give God some praise. I'm sharing this because this is an upgrade. What seemed to be a sudden attack 
will become a suddenly and a divine setup for your breakthrough. Who is needing a breakthrough in your life? If you need a relocation in the glory, if you need a relocation in the physical, if you know you sense in this month, in this season, the three weeks uh, of mourning in Tammuz, the Hebrew month of Tammuz, if you know that this is a season where God is shifting you, God is about to upgrade you, God is about to cause you to appear, to manifest, to come out on the scene, and people are going to be like, who is this person? They just got super saiyan. Who is this person? They just got super unknown. Who is this person? They just came out of the oven of the prayer closet. And let me tell you, in this season, there's going to be such a prophetic upgrade. If you believe it right now, give the Lord a mighty clap. Hallelujah. People of God, listen. Right now, in this moment, myself, Dr. Hakeem, and Dr. Naeem, we're going to begin to minister and prophesy over a number of you personally, okay? But before that, right now, come on, doctors, let's stretch out our hands right now. Lord, we thank you for upgrade. Lord, we thank you for increase. Lord, I thank you. Oh, Jesus, even as I preached last night in Hawaii, oh, the prayer of Jabez. Jabez was born in pain, but he did not stay in pain. Just because you were born into poverty does not mean you need to stay in poverty. And Jabez cried out, oh, God, would you bless me? Oh, God, would you expand my territory? Oh, God, I ask you that your hand would be on me and that you would keep me from pain. I declare right now, God is about to expand you like Jabez. I declare over your life right now, God's about to expand you. God's about to increase you. God is about to increase and mature your stature. In one season, you're going from rejected and denied. In the next season, the new season, this season, you're becoming undeniably favored. You're becoming undeniably favored in this year. Lord, I thank you. Bless your people right now. Lord, I I thank you for the fire of God, for the word of God, and I thank you for every word that's going to be released right now is going to be on point, accurate, precise, and powerful in the name of Jesus. My goodness. Uh, Dr. Hakeem, Dr. Naeem, I just want to give you about five. Uh, I just want to give you, I don't know, let's tag him right now, of course, but I just want to give us about five to ten minutes to just minister. Let's give us five minutes as a minister. If you want a prophetic word, I want you to comment, pray for me in the chat. I, I feel the Holy Ghost. Stir up your hunger. Stir up your faith, people of God. If you want a prophetic word, I want you to comment, pray for me. My goodness. And Dr. Hakeem, Dr. Naeem, they're going to choose you as the Spirit of God flows, as the Lord highlights. So go for a man of God. Give us some hearts and likes right now, people of God. Yeah, bro. Amen. Uh, Cynthia Marshall, Cynthia Marshall, the spirit of the Lord says this is the season where God says I'm expanding and I'm enlarging your reach in this season. The Lord says this is the time where God says I'm going to release new levels of creativity um, in your life. The Lord says I place a strict a, a call on your life that is peculiar, that is different from others. The Lord says you will never fit in or you'll never uh, stay in one place. The Lord says I've called you to move about. This is the season where he's increasing and upgrading your prayer life to another level because God says I call you to be a leader's leader. Get ready in this season. There's women ministry that you're going to be able to be a part of, but also that you're going to be a gatherer. The Lord says there's an anointing of you on your life for healing and miracles and the prophetic. So get ready. You're, you're going to get stirred up to another level, says the Spirit of the Lord. My goodness, Dr. Naeem, is there anybody the Lord's highlighting to you right now? And, and Dr. Hakeem Naeem, uh, I know we're supposed to end actually just about now, but can we go over? Do you both have time so we can just keep keep ministering in this flow? Dr. Naeem? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Praise God. I'm uh, available for a minute, God, please. Yes, um, this word is for A.O. Thomas. A.O. Thomas, the Lord says to tell you, daughter, get ready um, in this season. God says, as you've been one that helped to bring and to highlight others, the Lord says, get ready. There's new contracts, new contracts that is happening even around about you. And the Lord says to tell you, even daughter, continue to push the envelope, says the Lord. God said, I'm about to begin to even stretch you even further. God says, I'm going to give you further reach and even another level and another layer of influence that surely is coming upon you, says the Lord. So God says to tell you, Ayo, do not be limited in this season. Yes, you have touched it. And the Lord says, did you experience it? And the Lord said, but get ready because expansion, expansion is happening around about you. And the Lord says that I'm going to even take the, the magazine even further, says the Lord. And the Lord says, there's going to be some conversation and some negotiation that's going to take place at the table that God's going to begin to even cause even a, a increase and something lucrative that's going to take place. So God says, yes, um, God 
God said, there's another arms of what you're about to do and what you're planning to do, some strategic planning happening around about you. And uh, even the Lord says, even as you highlight the women, but God says, there's an arms for the men that God says, I desire to even to cause you to highlight. So get ready because God says, I'm increasing your reach. I'm increasing your, uh, your influence. And the Lord says, even I'm adding more value upon it in this season, says the spirit of God. My goodness, uh, uh, Tamika White, I just see you right now in the spirit, and God says, I'm locating you, I'm finding you, I'm giving you favor, Tamika White, like I gave favor to Rachel as I opened up her womb, God is about to open some things up for you, as God opened the womb of Mary, God is saying, I favor you, Mary said, let it be to me according to your word, and God's about to highlight you in the season, even where you had uh, secret struggles on the inside, you give and you give and you love and you love, you're such an incredible person. But even as you give and love and, and be a mother and bless people, there's times you feel like, oh, Lord, what about me? Why am I being overlooked? And the Lord says it's uh, it's not just going to be motherhood. It's not just about you being small or being in this place. But God's going to bless you. And God's going to cause you to begin to step out into your dreams. I see personal dreams and desires, even a vacation coming to you very soon. But the Lord says you need to learn to love yourself as you love others. The Word of God says love others as you love yourself. So God is going to teach you how to love and how to bless yourself, how to have self-care, how to honor your body, how to honor your time. If they don't honor your time, they and you're not going to honor theirs because they are disrespecting you. So God says, in this season, get ready for boundaries and get ready for a new blessing. Dr. I can go for a man of God. Rebecca Butler, the Lord says this is the season where God is going to even upgrade your level of devotion. The Lord says you are uh, coming to a new season. The old season has gone away. Behold, I'm bringing you into a new season, a new day. The Lord says I'm even causing even some new alignments around about you. There's going to be some there's going to be some relationships that's going to compliment you, not compete with you in this season. Get ready in this season. The Lord has so much that he desires to give you in this season. So check and know that God is with you. I see where the Lord is going to begin to move in your life in the next three months. Things are going to accelerate for you. You've been in a season where it's like on, you've been like on pause, but God is going to break the spirit of delay around about you. And he's going to bring you into a season where you're going to recover all in this season, says the spirit of the Lord. Dr. Didi Moss. Yes. I'm just going to, D.D. Moss, the Lord says, this is the season where he's going to um, even give you new confidence in this season, confidence of who you are, confidence of your identity, confidence of, of your purpose in this season. He's going to bring clarity and understanding like never before. The Lord says, you've been there for everyone else, D.D. Moss, but the Lord says, but this is the season where I'm going to cause people to come around about you. The Lord says, iron sharpens iron, and there's a, there's a grace upon you for even to see the miracles and the glory and the presence of God like never before. He says, I've given you you angels, D.D. Moss, angels that are assigned to your mantle. So he's going to teach you uh, how to partner with angels. He's going to teach you how to even send your words and you, because there's life and death in the power of your words. This is the season, D.D. Moss, that the Lord is going to begin to show you that you are his favorite and that you're the apple of his eye. Get ready in this season. Old things are going to be passed away and he's upgrading you for something new and something fresh in this season, says the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, this word is for uh, it looks like Ivana um, or Ornelas, Ivana Ornelas. The Lord said to tell your daughter, get ready, because this is going to be the season where God says, I am even opening the way. I'm opening the door, says the spirit of God. The Lord says to tell your daughter that there is a grace and there's an anointing uh, upon you to be one that will know how to communicate. God is going to begin to place around about you individuals that's going to help you uh, in this season. The Lord says to tell you is that you are going to be key. And the Lord says, I'm about to begin to open doors that no man can shut. And God's going to shut doors that no man can open. So the Lord says to tell you there's an Isaiah 22 and 22 grace and anointing that's upon you. But I heard the Lord says to tell you that I'm getting ready to move you out of neutral. The Lord says there's a place where you are that almost like you've been in neutral. And the Lord says it's this time to shift gears and shift. The Lord says get ready daughter because it is a shift that's going to take place for you. There's much grace and much anointing upon you and oftentimes you're very frustrated because you have so much that you can do and so much that you can contribute. I heard God say to tell you is this is your season to shift. God is about to put you in the space because you have the grace for the room. And so God says, get ready because I'm about to begin to cause an acceleration to take place for you in this season. So know, says the Lord, that you're a key, 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 says God. Nicholas Collins, 
Um, I heard the Lord saying this season he is going to begin to um, open up doors that have been slammed in your face literally like five years ago. Like things that have been shut, things that have been bolted, these doors. And the Lord says, I'm even swinging the doors open. I'm, I'm even causing the doors to remove off of the hinges for you in this season. The Lord says that he is highlighting your name and he has put your name in the wind. So get ready in this season. I see healing coming to you personally. I see where God is even uh, touching your body in this season. Healing is coming to you right now as I'm speaking. And I hear the Lord saying in this season that he is not finished with you yet. God is going to begin to bring you into a, a season of what he calls renewal. 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 He's renewing some things in your life like never before. And the Lord says every attack that has come against you in the last 20 years, the Lord says I'm resetting and I'm bringing you to a place of recovery and restitution and I'm bringing you to a place of rest. So get ready in this season. He is not finished with you yet. There's more that you're going to be able to do and there's many people that you're going to reach and touch in the days ahead. So get ready in this season. God is doing even something even financially for you. I see where the Lord is going to put his hand upon everything that, that you have to do. I almost see like you've, you've been on pause and it's almost like you felt like you had some visions, some things you have written down, but you could not do it or you could not fulfill it because almost like the enemy tried to uh, throw you off of your season. But God says, I'm putting you right back on track and he's going to accelerate you and you're going to accomplish everything in you, that you could not accomplish in the last 10 years, says the spirit of the Lord. Hawkins, Dr. Naim, please, please keep going. Let's, let's just, I feel such a glory right now. I don't know if you can feel the weight. The presence of God is intensifying right now. So am I going to just keep receiving people that go stay in the flow, be hungry, stay expected, be honoring in your hearts as a man of God, as we continue to minister to people accordingly. But I feel such a great glory. And right go for it, Dr. Man, please. Walker, Keith Walker, the Lord says to tell you, son, get ready because God says, I'm causing you to step into a new season. Uh, the Lord says, I'm about to place even the wind of change is blowing surely in your direction. And the Lord says, but not only the wind of change is blowing in your direction, but I see finances and resources is about to blow surely in your direction in this season. And so Keith Walker, the spirit of God says, get ready, son, because I'm about to begin to expand uh, the work of your hands. The Lord says that your labor is not in vain says the Lord. And even the Lord says that I have not turned even to what away from what you have sown. Uh, but the Lord says, get ready, son, that you're, I'm going to begin to set around you a team, a team, a team of those that can think, those that are strategic, and those that that plan. Get ready because God says, I'm about to give you space. And I see uh, even as uh, God is going to put a, a, a breath of God is blowing on uh, the work of your hands. And God says, I'm about to give you the season of acquisition. You're getting ready to get more uh, property to be able to do the work that God put within you. And the Lord says, son, go back to the vision. Do not limit it, says the Lord. But the spirit of God says, but I'm going to cause an expansion. Go back and look at it in details because I see that you're going to begin to sign contracts uh, that's going to move you into the space. So get ready, said the Lord, and I'm going to breathe upon it. God says, I'm going to bring favor upon it. People's eyes are going to look towards it. For the Lord says, my eyes is upon the work of your hands. So the Lord says to tell you, be encouraged, O man of God. Do not be uh, discouraged. Do not give up. For the Lord says, but I'm upgrading your business. Uh, I'm yeah. upgrading that which you have just, that, that, that you're doing. And the Lord said, because you set your hands to the plow, God says, do not look back, says the Lord, because God says, I'm going to cause divine momentum push and the wind of God to blow upon it. Favor and finances is coming into your season to be able to get what you envision and that which, God, that which God has been showing you, says the Spirit of God. My God I want to pray for this lady, Paris Johnson. I hear God saying, he's going to turn your tears into tears of joy and laughter. And he's going to use those bitter, sour tears to become sweet tears. I literally see where you've been crying. You've been crying out to God, but those tears are going to water the seeds that were sown. God is saying you are not in a dead and dry season, but your season is a plowing season of preparation. Oh, and God says, do not grow weary in the waiting do not lose heart in the preservance because this is a time where God is going to release supernatural growth. I declare right now that the sower is going to overtake the reaper and you're about to overtake. Someone to overtake. You are about to overtake. And I see in the spirit, even where the grim reaper tried to kill you a few times. I see death 
pass by you. In the book of Exodus, it talks about the angel of death. The angel of death passed by you numerous times, several times. And God says, touch not my anointed. The blood of Jesus is on your life. So God is protecting you, woman of God. So we bless from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. My goodness, come on. Shout that I want everybody to lift up. I feel such a grace right now. My goodness, I pray right now for everybody. I just kept feeling this suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. Expect suddenly in your life. Even like for my situation, a story that I share, suddenly the church building kicked us out. And in three weeks, we got into an upgrade. We got into a new location. We got into a new property. Come on, somebody. The devil tried to stop you, but you actually came up resurrected. The devil thought he killed you, but you came out of the grave with keys. Come on, there's an unlocking happening right now. There's an opening happening right now in the name of Jesus. So we stretch out our hands. And as men of God, we come in agreement with the destiny scroll in your life. And we say every promise is yes and amen. Thank you right now. In this month, everything will change. And we declare and we decree that in the next six months, all the way to the end of this year, everything in your life is going to shift and upgrade. And if you believe it, I want you to shout upgrade. Come on, people of God. My goodness, my goodness. I feel like Dr. Hakeem. I don't know if you have one one more person you want to pray for, or if there's anything just bubbling out of your spirits, that Nabi anointing. Come on, men of God. Yeah, I hear the Lord. This is a corporate word for all of you guys that are on. The Lord says, son and daughter, these are the days where God says, I'm expanding and I'm enlarging your reach. And I'm calling you in this season to not stay where you are, to not stay stuck. But the Lord says, son and daughter, these are the days where I'm going to begin to give you strategies for your next season. I'm going to give you the template to your next season. I'm going to give you the blueprint for your next season, says the Spirit of the Lord. And the Lord says, I'm going to place upon you the strength and the ability of an ox. I'm going to give you the ox anointing to plow and to labor and places that you have not labored in before. The Lord says that you will not put your hands to the plow and you will not look back. But the Lord says, I'm going to make you supernaturally fit for what is next and what is to come. The Lord says, weeping may may endure for a night. But the Lord says, joy is coming in this season for you. Get ready in this season. The Lord says, there will no longer be no more nightmares. But the Lord says, but you're going to have joy and peace and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. Get ready for a supernatural upgrade and improvement in every area of your life in this season. Father says that whatever you decree today, you shall see tomorrow. Get ready for your season to shift and to change and to come parallel to the the will and the purpose of God in heaven and earth. Get ready in this season where God's going to make your voice heard in this season. For many of you have been silent by the years of the past. Many of you have been muzzled. Many of you have been stopped. Many of you have been overlooked. Many of you have been persecuted. Many of you have been slandered. Many of you have been talked about. But the Lord says in this season, I'm changing your season and I'm changing your company for iron sharpens iron. Get ready. For God says, I'm breaking the dullness, says the Lord, and I'm causing you to be on on a cutting edge of what I'm doing. I'm placing upon you a level of creativity, uh, and you'll be thinkers and solvers and movers in this season. Get ready in this season. Many of you, you had heard bad reports from the doctor, and some of you have not even gone to the doctors because you're afraid. And the Lord says, I break the the fear of the of death. I break the spirit uh, of the sphere of um, of the unknown. I break this uh, the spirit of, of lack and fear of dying. The Lord says, I'm breaking it off for you in this season. And I say now that you are healed and you are healed by his stripes. Oh my God. I feel the anointing. Father, right now, we thank you that the glory of the Lord is being released right now. The Lord says, I'm making way and provision out of no way. The Lord said, many of you have been in the, in the in a dry season, but I'm about to break open an oasis unto you. And I'm going to cause the floodgates of heaven to release upon you in this season. You're going to work under an open heaven. You're going to minister under an open heaven. You're going to prophesy under an open heaven. You're going to work and you're going to do what you've been called to do under an open heaven. Get ready. This is the season to ascend. This is the season to upgrade. This is the season to improve. This is the season to know that I am with you and not against you, says the Spirit of the Lord. And the Lord says, I am with you, not against you. So get ready in this season. I'm going to remove your enemies and I'm replacing that which was was there. And I'm going to give you something new. I'm going to add to you. For I know how to count, says the Lord. I'm good at math and I'm good at multiplication. This is the season that as I 
upgrade you. I'm going to upgrade every area. And do not feel uh, um, uh, uncomfortable with where I'm taking you in this season. And the Lord says also, many of you may feel like you're alone. You may feel like you're isolated. Some of you have been under a heavy uh, condemnation, but there is no condemnation unto those who are Christ Jesus. Get ready in this season. I am moving on. I'm, I'm, I'm removing your slate clean, and I'm cleaning it in this season so that you have a fresh start and a renewal season and a time of advancement, says the Lord. You will outrun your enemies in this season. You will outrun your competition, for the Lord says uh, there is more with you than against you. Get ready. Receive your day of upgrade. Receive your day of beckoning. You receive this day of change because this is your hour, says the Lord. You are in the second half of the year, and the Lord says anything can change. And turning your season around, says the Spirit of the Lord. My goodness, Dr. Naeem, any last thoughts as we're about to shift right now? Any last thoughts, man? I got my goodness. Yes, the Lord says to tell you, many of you, son and daughter, get ready because this is going to be the season of, yes, of prophetic upgrade. This is to be a season of enlargement and increase, said the Lord. But no, says God, that this will be the season, oh, son and daughter, that I'm going to begin to cause favor to surely be your portion. So the Lord says that the day of small is over, for I'm going to place even upon you a freshness, a, a newness a, of grace that's going to come upon you, said the Lord, in this season. So get ready, said the Lord. For many of you, God says, I'm giving you fresh vision. And I heard God said to tell many of you to go back again and revise the vision, said the Lord. Prepare, prepare for expansion and enlargement. For the Lord said that it's about to happen around the about to. So the Lord says to tell many of you that the warfare has been increased. It has intensified. For the Spirit of God says to know that that opposition is to credential and to verify that God said, I have called you to do it. For the Lord says, get ready for many of you, says God, will take territory. And the Lord says that you are vision uh, will begin to move at the speed uh, of your prophecy. So the Lord says that to go back and to obey, trust and obey. For the Lord says this will be the season of the Jabez anointing. For the Lord says that I'm going to begin to increase your 10 pegs. I'm going to begin to increase you, uh, enlarge you on every side. I am bringing, I'm broadening your coast uh, and I'm extending your line, said the Lord. And for no, says God, that I'm giving you the influence and the affluence uh, to be able to be a mover and shaker, said the Lord. I heard God said to many of you, obey me in this season. For the Lord said that I will give you strategy. I will give you detailed instruction. Uh, and the Lord said, it's not about popularity. It's about obedience. Uh, the Lord says uh, that those in this season that obey me, get ready because you're about to experience, says God, an acceleration. Get ready, says God, that favor is going to find you in this season for you have found favor with me. But well, the Lord says, but also will cause favor with men. Get ready, says the Lord, but I will send the resources from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I will send the partners. Uh, I will send the relationships. Relationships. I will send the connection, says the Lord. And no, says God, that I am doing a realignment, says God. And I'm changing your company. And I'm causing the freshness and the irons to sharpen you at the next level. And I'm introducing you to new rooms, to new spaces, because there's a new grace that's coming upon you. Get ready, says the Lord, because this is your season of upgrade and acceleration, says Spirit of God. My goodness, come on, people of God. You got to clap your hands. I am undone. Listen, there is a glory and there is a power that's released through the prophetic. And I don't know about you, but I'm just in the Holy Ghost. I'm in the glory of God right now. I can barely speak. I'm drunk on the Holy Ghost. People of God, I just want you to lift up your hands right now. I don't know if you can hear this music playing out of my laptop, but I believe right now God is transferring. God is imparting. God is connecting. God is causing you to access and God is opening something fresh in the dimension of his presence. Lord, we thank you for the glory of God. And Lord, we thank you for every word that is spoken, everything that was said and done in this moment. Come on, people of God. I want you to begin to worship God, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you're watching from, begin to pray in the Spirit just for the next 15 seconds. So that I just worship God right now. Oh, Jesus said that they will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. As you pray in tongues, it begins to seal it in your soul. It begins to seal it into your body. Lord, I thank you. 
it is done and it is so. In the name of Jesus. My goodness, come on, people of God, give the Lord a clap. Give us some hearts and likes. My goodness, so powerful. Somebody say upgrade, Jesus. Someone say upgrade, my goodness. Let me tell you, strategies, ideas, streams of income, new anointings, gifts, wells are going to be opened up in your life. New wells. And I'm not just talking about Wells Fargo. I'm talking about new wells, new banks, new, new streams is going to burst open in your life. My goodness, I want you to shout hallelujah. Listen, people of God, you need to join us for this August conference. <laughs> it almost feels like we're in, a, we're in the August conference right now. But you need to join us for the Burning Ones conference in Orlando, Florida. And it's going to be myself, Dr. Hakeem, Dr. Naeem Collins, the Twin Prophets. But of course, you know, when your boy Dr. Ben Lim is there, it's it's not the twin prophets, it's the triplet prophets, you know, so. And then you got Steve Swanson, worship leader, musician extraordinaire. Listen, and we got some special guests coming. You already know me. Whenever I'm in Orlando or Florida, I got so many friends, I got special guests. So you need to register. Register, you could go over uh, to heavenlycruises.com. Heavenlycruises.com. And even though this conference is not on a cruise, we have those coming up next year. Someone say next year. Come on, somebody. Cruise to the Caribbean, to Europe. All right, with the glory prophet. Woo, shut up. But uh, this one, Heavenly Cruises, our good friends, are hosting this. So do register. Do join in the name of Jesus. And also, remember, this coming Monday, I have a webinar that's for free called Exposing Christian Witchcraft. Christians are some of the worst witches, warlocks, and wizards. And let me tell you, there's so much deception and mixture out there that I want to teach you on, on how to destroy witchcraft in your life. How to, and we're going to expose Christian witchcraft, occultism, Satanism, the Antichrist, religion, traditionalism, legalism, all the isms and schisms. I want to teach you about exposing Christian witchcraft. It's going to be eye-opening and there's going to be power, prophetic ministry, impartation. So go ahead and join us. It is a free Zoom webinar this coming Monday. But oh my goodness, Dr. Hakeem Naim Collins, I love you. Let's get, come on, let's give the Twin Prophets a mighty clap, amen, for joining us today on this prophetic upgrade. Someone say upgrade. Now, man of God, Dr. Hakeem, listen, as we're, as we're not done yet, people of God, so don't leave, please, don't leave, okay? But man of God, Dr. Hakeem, as we're talking about prophetic upgrade, you are in the process of starting a church plan, of starting a hub. My goodness, talk to us, man. God, I want you to share your heart and your vision with our people today, with our platform. I, I just want you to share your heart because this is an epiphany. This is an epitome, an example, a prime example of what we're talking about, prophetic upgrade. So talk to us, man, God, about this new church plan, about this new hub that you're starting off in Delaware. Come on, talk to us. Yeah, well, you know, this this theme of prophetic upgrade that's what god did with me you know i was traveling i was okay traveling being an itinerant prophet and and just going and teaching people the word of the lord and how to hear the voice of god and then god just suddenly uh, two months ago decided to say listen i want something i want something more out of you um where you are is is not enough and that's where he began to challenge me and he says now you're going to plant you're going to start a church. You're going to start a, a basically a hub, a training and equipping center that's going to um, that's going to reach and touch your community. Um, there's a burden to to, to change and 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 there's a the desire for the glory of God according to Haggai chapter two verse nine that the that the latter house shall be greater than the former house. And so I believe in this season that God wanted me to, to establish a place of of His presence, a place where He can come and not visit, but He can stay and live, and then people around the region can come and, and enjoy and soak in his presence and be healed and delivered and set free and miracles and experience the supernatural, but not only have the voice of God, but also to grow and become glory carriers. And so the Lord spoke to me and he said, I want you to start this work. Um, and, and, and I said, okay. Then he gave me a name called Glory Central. Central, it's just basically where it's a centralized place where God's glory will dwell, where he will live, where he will uh, take a bold. It's just like 
with Moses. Moses created a, a tabernacle and God uh, showed up, you know, when he did exactly according to the pattern. David, the same with David, same with Solomon. They had to construct um, what God said and then, then the glory came. And I believe in this season, we're going to see the glory of God return. Um, and it's not a, an external uh, thing that we're going to look for, but it's only inside of us because we are the house of God. We are the ecclesia. We are the, the legislative body. And so um, just in, in short, the Lord told me to do it. And then in 22 days, I was looking for a building in 22 days, literally 22. Somebody say 22. Somebody type in there 22. And in 22 days, because we're in the year 22, we're in the year 2022, the Lord spoke to me and my brother prophetically that we're in the year of Isaiah 22, 22, that I will open up doors that no man can shut and I will shut doors that no man can open. And so there are key leaders and key doors. And even with you, Dr. Ben, we were on your platform before and we talked about the keys and the doors and opportunities that God was going to begin to do. And there's going to be keys that will open up nations and open up um, regions and the heavens will open up. God has key relationship for many of you right now. Now. And so um, in 22 days, there was a property that was that landed in my lap. And I don't have any members. I don't have any a, a launch team. I don't have any of that. All I have is the word of the Lord. Somebody say the word of the Lord. See, you might not have all the finances. You might not have the plugs. You might not have all the connections. You might have not, you may not have all the money. You don't you may not have all the education, but all you need in this season, I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but all you have is God's word. And when you have God's word on it, God will open doors open ways and pathways and he'll open opportunities for you and he will blow your mind in this season. So in 22 days, a, a building uh, came open to me. And here's the prophetic thing about it, Dr. Ben and Dr. Naeem, that in, and, and that, that I, I received the building, it was available, but it's on 22nd Street. Let me say that again. The building is positioned in, in the heart of the city where all the, the, the prostitute, the drug dealers, the hustlers, you name it, is there because we have to touch and reach the community. And, and so it's right on 22nd Street here in Wilmington, Delaware, in the Philadelphia region. That's where we are right now. And the Lord said, you will, you will raise up a people that will become glory carriers. You will teach them the glory. Teach them how, because there's a lot of houses that had Ichabod on it. The glory has departed. And I believe in this season, um, that God is doing something fresh. And so um, I got the keys and now the Lord gave me a strategy uh, to upgrade. And so people have been sowing Dr. Ben. I mean, we have pastors that have been that have been contacting me. They had their whole congregation sow a seeds of 44, 44, $22 and, and 22 cents. And, uh, you know, they were just given $222 and all that. And it's just been a blessing. So that is what is on my heart. That's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm excited about this move. So I want everyone who is listening right now, if you feel led, I mean, I'll let Dr. Uh, ben take over, but I just feel that this is the moment. This is the season season that we must sow into works like these and, and new works because we, we sow into everything else. But I believe this is something new, something fresh. I'm a, I don't know what I'm doing, but all with God's direction, his revelation. Listen, we're going to turn this region around. We're going to transform this region for the glory of God. I believe that it's going to be a place where his glory will not only just be there, but it will live and dwell. And I'm telling you, we're going to see the, the, the glory of God ooze out in the streets, in the neighborhood, in the region. And we're going to overturn thrones and principalities and powers. I believe that is what God is going to do. And I'm, and I'm just being one gatekeeper that is being available to do it. So that's, that's my heart. It's called Glory Central here in Wilmington, Delaware. Amen. My goodness, people of God, let's give the man of God a clap, you know, and of course, I know Dr. Naeem, you're, of course, your brothers, you got, you guys are going to be working in this together as well. And, but I just want to say, I'm proud of you because I know what it's like to start a church. I've started three churches in the last five, six years, right? And I'm actually going to start a new church in New Mexico now. Uh, and all the New Mexico haters, you better watch it. So, uh, you know, but I'm about to start a new, so I know what it's like. And I believe in church planting. I love church planting. I believe in the corporate assembly of the brethren. I believe in the ecclesia. It is infallible. It cannot be replaced. It's irreplaceable. As wonderful, powerful as these virtual Zoom rooms are, it will never replace in-person, communal, koinonia, ecclesia, fellowship. So I just want to say, Dr. Akeem, I love you. I'm so proud of you. I'm sure there's a lot of work going on. Uh, when is the launch date? When is the launch date you have? 
So the launch date is September the 9th. The Lord gave me September the 9th, and we know the number nine is the number of conclusion and birthing. And so it was very strategic. So September the 9th is the actual official uh, launch. So we've just been believing God for resources and, and finances and people that can just sow and give so that we'll be um, just, we can just hit the ground running. My goodness, praise God. September 9th, people of God, September 9th. That's, that's right around Rosh Hashanah, right around the head of the year, the new year, the beginning of the year. And let me tell you, I mean, Dr. Akeem Naim, I love you both. You guys are like covenant brothers to me, covenant friends. I love you guys. You guys are incredible. And people of God, let me tell you, as we're talking about upgrade, who here knows that if you want to upgrade, then you also need to upgrade your level of thinking and your level of serving and your level of giving. Listen, people of God, because I love my friends and I believe in this work so much. Come on, who's excited? Who's Who in the surrounding region is going to go and visit in the DMV from Jersey, from New York? Come on, you need to drive, all right? I know Dr. Akeem, you know, he's building a new team there. He He's building, come on, we don't want no Jezebels, all right? But he's building a new team. So people of God, I want right now, let's support this man again. Not, let's not just pray, but I want to take this time right now so that we all can sow. I want to open up a time right now. There's 222 people watching live right now. I know it fluctuates. 222 right now. But I want all of us to ask the Lord God, as we're talking about prophetic upgrade, what can I sow into this building fund, into this building project? Dr. Hakeem, how much more are you believing to raise? How much more? For so your we're believing. So the goal is fifty thousand dollars, and so we're we're literally halfway through. So we're actually at twenty five. So we're halfway. So that's oh. what we believe God for the next half. Yeah. My goodness, people of God, there's two hundred twenty two people still watching right now. I want to encourage you right now to sow. Everybody say so. I want to encourage you to partner to sow. And what we're gonna do is we're going to sow in numerics of two. Okay, because that's what the prophet's been doing. We're gonna sow give in numerics of two. What does that mean? Uh, two dollars, twenty-two dollars, twelve dollars, twenty-two dollars, twenty-two cents, two hundred twenty-two dollars, two thousand dollars. Okay, I believe there's some generous donors here today. I believe there's some people that love America that believe that uh, there's an upgrade coming to the United States. Come on, there's an upgrade coming to Delaware. There's an upgrade coming to Virginia, to Washington D.C. There's an upgrade coming to that region. Amen. And of course, where you are, it is a governmental area. It is historically governmental. So I believe there's going to be an upgrade for Dr. Hakeem and for the whole region. But I want to take this time for all of us to pray and to partner together. Amen. So people of God, listen, I want you to sow generously. I'm doing this because I believe in Dr. Hakeem. And I know there's people here today that also believe in Dr. Hakeem and Naeem. and believe in his glory central. My goodness. So can we put up the links to sow, Mr. Loris? And I want to put up. On the screen, people of God, as you are sowing, as you are giving, remember, I want to encourage you. All of this is going to go to the work of Dr. Akeem, to this building fund. This is going to go to the work of the man of God, to glory. My goodness, don't you love the glory? And people of God, I want to encourage you. Stretch. So yeah. big. This season of Tammuz, the three weeks of mourning, in this season, God's going to shift something in your life. All right? Praise God. And as you're preparing your seed... Dr. Naeem, do you have anything quick you want to say real quick uh, before I instruct the people in what to write? Yes, I want to encourage you uh, to put not just only your prayers behind what Dr. Hakeem is building. Um, I'm seeing the labor. I'm seeing he's going into this building and he's praying daily. And, um, and as he has said, he doesn't have a team yet. He doesn't have members yet, but he has the word of the Lord. And I don't want you just to absorb all of that, what is declared over you tonight. I see some people jumping off, but I don't want you to leave without partnering, not just with your prayers, but he also needs your help. We need your help because what he's doing right now is new. It is fresh. Um, he's just obeying the, the word of the Lord that's on his life. He didn't ask for it. He, he wasn't praying for it. And so we need your help. We need you to help uh, to just sow and to give. As Dr. Ben has said, there's three ways that you can receive an impartation. Uh, some of it is not just saying, I receive. But part of it is that you have to then serve into it, uh, uh, study into it. 
And one of the most important, I believe, is to sow into it. And so we want to give you an opportunity tonight. The, the link is on the screen for you to sow. I want you to partner with us. I want you to say, listen, I want my seed in the ground. And I want a part of this double, double, this triple anointing. And so there's an anointing. I'm not saying this um, because he's my brother. There is a sign. Yeah wonders and miracles that, that follow his ministry. Hear me. Uh, there is signs, wonders, the supernatural is a part of our prophetic DNA. And so that when you sow into that anointing, when you sow into that grace, when you say, I want, listen, you don't need Gabriel to give you the revelation. We just say, listen, we sow out of our love. We uh -huh. sow of our revelation. I want you tonight to say, if I want to partner, I want a prophetic upgrade. I believe what the prophets have said tonight. I believe Dr. Hakeem. I believe Dr. Ben. I believe Dr. Naeem. So tonight, I want you, some of you, God wants to stretch you. Remember we talked about in the, about upgrade is about stretching. It's about increase. It's about movement. And so we want you tonight, not only just your prayers, we not only solicit your prayers, because we definitely need that, but I want you to partner with heaven. I yeah. want you to say, Man of God, I want to be a blessing to you. I want to get my uh, seed in the ground. I want, amen, to get my seed because I believe in you. And some of you may say, well, I don't know of, of him. I've heard of him. I heard him and his brother. I've heard a lot. Some of you have got a lot of my brother's books uh, and material, and he's blessed you. Some of those leaders that are watching. Amen. That he's uh, come and he served and my brother and I served in your region. Say, listen, this is a governmental region. We are in the Delmarva area. We are in double tri-state areas. We are in the state of Delaware. Delaware is considered the first state. And so I'm telling you, there's something governmental. There's something apostolic. There's something prophetic. And so I want you to say, man of God, just like there was 222 people exactly was on this live tonight, on this broadcast tonight. So say, man of God, I want to so I want to give. Amen. I mean, some of our friends, some of our partners have already given and some have sold double. So I want you to, as, as the prophet has said, give. Amen. In the miracles of twos, um, two dollars. Amen. I don't care if you give two cents. I don't care if you give twenty two dollars. Oh. $222. Give $2,000. God's going to stretch. Many will say, man of God. Amen. I believe you. There are some senior leaders and pastors, apostles that are on here who are leaders of churches. I mean, you understand the laborious work that comes behind such a work. And so let's get behind this apostolic work. Amen. Let's say, man, we, we trust. We believe. We whip you. We salute you. Amen. And so we honor you. And so I believe that if you honor the prophet, amen. Come on. If you receive a prophet, uh, in the name of a prophet, so shall you receive the prophet's wages, so shall you receive the prophet's compensation. Amen. That's how you get an upgrade. Amen. Elijah told the widow woman, he said, listen, before you and your son eat, come on, let me eat first. Come on. Come on. So you got to say, listen, before I eat, come on, we want to honor the anointing. We want to honor the Christ that is in my brother. We want to honor the Christ that is in Dr. Ben. Amen. We want to honor. So we honor him in our giving. Amen. And so I want you to so uh, uh Joy, joyfully. I want you to sow bountifully. I want you to sow, amen, in love and say, listen, I want to partner with you tonight. Amen. I want to be a part of what Glory Center is doing in Wilmington, Delaware. My goodness. Praise God. People of God, listen, the harvest is right. And in a time where churches and ministries are shutting down, Dr. Hakim is opening a church. Isn't that incredible? In the East Coast. So people of God, I know uh, I know there's still some of you on, praise God. You are the faithful favorites, amen? So I want you to sow in numerics of two. And as you sow into the man of God, Dr. Hakeem, into this building fund, I want you to comment keys, okay? That is going to be the term. I want you to comment keys, okay? As you're yeah. sowing into this building fund, as you're sowing into this moment, into this project, into this plant, as you sow, as you pledge and make a commitment to sow, I want you to comment keys so that we can begin to call out your name one by one in agreement in Jesus' name. Praise God. Yes. Dr. Hakeem. Can I you. say something? Go ahead. I remember when we were together, all of us was together in Hawaii, and we were at the Trump Hotel, and we were eating um, dinner, and uh, you, we were just, you know, dialogue and we were talking. I was sharing about um, what God has put in my heart. 
and I was sharing about the church plan and, and I didn't have a strategy. I didn't have a plan, but then God spoke to me. And then I told you guys about the plan. And here's the, and here's the interesting thing about it. I didn't even, I didn't even post it on my social media yet. I didn't even say anything about it yet. I'm just sharing it with my friends and family over dinner in Hawaii. And, and literally right on the other side of the wall and, and ben, Dr. Ben was there. On the other side of the world, someone heard me. Someone overheard me talking about a church plan and, and, and what I was going to do. And, and the man of God from the other side of the wall came over and said, I overheard uh, you talking about um, a church plan or starting something. Where can I sow? This yes. is what the man of God said. Am I lying? I, I'm flying. No, I, he, he came right over and said, I overheard. And I want to encourage many of you tonight that is listening right now. You have overheard the word of the Lord. There are some things that God is about to do in your life like never before. And I believe as you, you write keys and as you sow your seed of doubles, I believe that God is going to answer your prayers. There are going to be those that are going to be in key places and in key uh, areas that's going to bless you. This man saw a seed, a big seed. He was the first one. Well, actually my spiritual son, but he was the, the, the second person that sowed a big seed. He didn't know me. I didn't know him really. And and, and all, all I remember is that he came over and he said, I overheard. That was the prophetic word is I overheard. And God in this season and said, there are going to be those that are going to fund your vision. They're going to bless you. They're going to come out of nowhere. Those that you, that you thought that was going to bless you, those that you thought was going to be there for you, God said, I'm going to send strangers. I'm going to see angels that's going to bring your blessing. I'm going to send angels that are going to bring your increase. up. I'm going to send angels that's going to bring you to a new level. Get ready in this season. Your seed. I need you to type in there. I'm, I'm just typing their keys because you said, I'm going to sow. I'm going to give whatever the amount is in doubles. I want you to obey God in this season and watch God move in the next 22 days. As if I not be a prophet of God, I declare over you there's miracles and doors and things that were held up or it's going to open for you in 22 days, whether you sow $22, whether you sow $222, whether you sow $2,000, God is stretching you. You need to come up to another level. You've been giving those $20 for, for a long time. You've been giving those $2 for a long time. The Lord says this is the season to sow and to upgrade in your giving and do something that you have never done before. Sow something that you've never sowed before and watch God move on you in 22 days. I decree it and declare it. I establish it and I legislate it as a prophet of the Lord. I see that I see them coming in. I see them coming in. I don't know why, but they're coming in. I see them the finances coming in and God is releasing angels on your behalf. There's somebody that got your your finances. There's somebody that got your your the, the key to your next level. There's somebody that's going to put something in your hand. I decree and declare it just right in there keys. That's right in there keys and sow into this work because I believe as you sow into it there's a mighty harvest of souls that are connected to your seed. Whatever you sow, God said you're going to reap. And I believe in this season, get ready. God's about to overhear it, not only just what, he, what you've been praying, but God's going to send the help in this next season. That's the word of the Lord for you. I, my, my, Dr. Hakeem, can you hear me? I, I'm, I just saw someone said they just empty out their cash app. And we need to put the uh, the ways, uh, the digital uh, ways that they can give, because I'm telling you, people are moving. Amen. I mean, faith is being activated and it's being unlocked right now. It's interesting because around about the same time that my brother, um, in 22 days, he received keys. He received keys to the church. I mean, he literally signed the lease uh, uh, to the building within 22 days. I'm telling you something prophetic about it. Amen. Don't take these words lightly because heaven is moving at the speed of your obedience. And so, and so in 22 days, my brother received the keys through his act of obedience. Also, we were in Hawaii. Amen. And God opened a new door for us <laughs> through Dr. Ben and opened Hawaii to us. Right before we went to Hawaii, we were in Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona. That was a new door. Hear me tonight. And so back to back doors opened unto us because of obedience. Thanks. And so I'm coming to declare to you that you're watching today. I need you to sow. I need you to give. I want you to pledge. I want you to say, listen, I hear you tonight. I've heard the prophets tonight. And so it's interesting when we got to Hawaii, um, uh, we were actually, our hotel room was on the 22nd floor. Amen. I can't make it up. We can't make it up. Amen. It was on the 22nd floor. God has a way to confirm his word. His word is established out of the mouth of two or three witnesses.
prophets. Come on, you got two or three prophets on here tonight. So I want you to give tonight and, and to sow. If you can sow by way of PayPal, Bemo, Cash App, checks, amen. Come on, Zell, it's on the screen. I'm telling you, God is about to move at the speed of your revelation. Hear me tonight. And not only is the church on 22nd Street in Wilmington, Delaware, um, but it is it, the church has two double doors. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I, I, Listen, God does something in numbers. And I've come to prophesy, amen, that God is going to even supply all of your needs according to your riches, according to his riches in glory. And so I'm telling you, God is about to meet you tonight. He's going to begin. I, I'm telling you. And so I was moved by the person who said, I just emptied out my cash app. That touched me. Amen. I'm telling you. And because you said and said, I empty out, amen, my cap said, God said, I'm pouring out the heavens upon you that you will have not room enough to receive. What does that mean? That means that when God opened the heaven, hear me tonight, God is opened the heavens tonight because of your act of obedience. God said, you will not have room enough to receive. Another translation said that you will, he will pour it out until it's over, into an overflow. Amen. So God's going to continue to increase you to the degree, amen, that you don't have enough storage, amen, you don't have enough room, that means that that is indicative to tell you that you're about to increase. That's indicative to say you need more space. When God is finished with you, amen, you're going to have double houses, you're going to have double land, amen, you're going to have double property, y'all hear me, double businesses, I declare over you, double double in this season. Y'all got to listen. I, you cannot afford not to sow because you got three prophets uh, that God has put a grace of finances and wealth and anointing. We all three of us are entrepreneurs. Uh, so we understand economy. We understand uh, amen frequency. We understand currency. Amen. I want you to respond with the act of favor and say, I'm going to sow. I'm going to give. I'm going to partner. I got to get my seed in the ground. We got to know this because seed time and harvest. Come yeah. on. So you can't expect nothing if you just sow nothing. Come on. You can't draw nothing if you don't put nothing in. Hear me. And so God is increasing you on every side. And so I declare to you, I decree it. I, I legislate it. And we decree and declare it over your life in this season. Double, double. Come on. Come on. Come on. I see, I see property being My released like I said, in 22 days. It's about to happen suddenly. Suddenly. My God. Come on, bro. Listen, people of God, you know the way for you. For your vision to come to pass is if you sow into another man's vision. All right. I do believe right now, as many of you are wanting to start businesses, wanting to start uh, organizations, a church, etc., etc., God is saying, as you sow into this man of God, as you sow in this moment, that same thing is going to be to you. It's going to come back to you double. It's going to come back to you triple and even uh, sevenfold. So even as you sow in this moment, people go, watch what God's going to do. Is This is a miracle moment and the anointing is here. Look at that. My goodness. Our viewership just went up again. Praise God. But let me tell you, people, all of you that are sowing, I want you to comment keys, okay? I want you to comment keys. I know, uh, you know, many of you commented already and, and maybe your name's already passed, but I want you to comment keys. And as you comment keys, we're going to say your name out loud. We're going to agree by speaking your name out loud in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? All right. And uh, I do believe possibly Dr. Hakeem Naeem, you may be seeing different names than I am, uh, but as you sow, praise God, as you are making a pledge to be a part, be a partner, make history, my goodness, to make history by partnering in this word, by partnering in this moment, I want you to come and keep them. We're going to agree with you in Jesus' name. Dorian Waller, God bless you. Chanel Jackson, God bless you. Shun Cynthia Marshall, Rosa. thank you. Go ahead. Cynthia Marshall, thank you. Um, looks like Donna Brissett, thank you. Sam Rento, God bless you. God bless you, thank you. Carrie Miller, God bless you, thank you. Lisa Reynolds, God bless you, we thank you. Lou oh. Lou, Lou Ella Lou, God bless you, thank you. Rashida, thank you. April, thank you. Karina Barreto, thank you. Hallelujah. Dana. Uh, Jennifer Farley, Jennifer Farley, thank you. 
Lisa. Ana Tuo, God bless you. CC, God bless you. Rebecca Butler, God bless you. Coleman D'Amber, God bless you. Carolyn Ward, God bless you. Sam Cairns, God bless you. Rosie Love, God bless you. Amy Esther S., God bless you. Lisa yes. Orcus, God bless you. Lisa L. Reynolds, God bless you. My goodness. Donna Whoever. Burnett, God bless you. Carrie Warren Miller, God bless you. Lou Ella Lou, God bless you. Come on, people of God. Candace Beam Reese, God bless you. Amy Piat, God bless you. Zaps Nora, God bless you. Rashida Lockett, God bless you. Yes. Mimi Mever, God bless you. April Tello, God bless you. Rebecca Butler, God bless you. Come on, people of God. I think I'm reading names twice now. Yesenia Ramos, God bless you. Margaret Kilue, God bless you. B.E. Bonnie Will, God bless you. Jesus. Jessica Goron, God bless you. Daphne Williams, God bless you. Lisa L. Yes, amen. Karen Renton, God bless you. Gina Rubio White, God bless you. D. Cayetaneto, God bless you. Providence Ivana, God bless you. Come on, somebody. Kareem Walsh, thank you. Dana Elizabeth, thank you. Margaret K Kiliwi, thank you. Angela Sai, God bless you. Christina Martin, God bless you. Angela Campbell, God bless you. Dana Elizabeth, God bless you. Come on, somebody. Margaret, God bless you. Thank you. Corinne Walsh, God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Come on, just type keys. We want y'all to sew. Come on. Come on. Rebecca Butler, thank you. Glory, glory. We got people all over the world that's watching. Come on, we need your seed. We want you to be blessed. Uh -huh. and, and here's the thing. When I, when I, um, God gave me a strategy, in two weeks I had half. The goal was $50,000, Dr. Ben and Dr. Naeem. And in two weeks, there's that two weeks, I had half of what I needed. And so, and so God said in 60 days, which is two months, that we will get and we will reach our goal. We're almost there. And I believe like this is a, at the time and the moment. You're still in this window. Many of you, you're in this window. Whatever seed that you sow in doubles, God will bless you. Whether it's $20, $22, whether it's $12, whatever that has twos in it, $222, $2,000, whatever it is, but just obey God. Just trust God in this spirit, in this season and upgrade in your seed because in two weeks, God did it. He gave me half. And I believe in this season, God's going to give you more than enough because you are sowing. Just write in there keys. Just type in that keys that you're sowing, whatever that amount is. But trust God and obey God and watch God does some things for you in 22 days. I decree it over you in Jesus' name. Keith Walker, God bless you. Lorraine Hood Fagan, God bless you. Rebecca Spann, God bless you. In 22 days, as a prophet, I received that. The prophet yeah. declared, expect a miracle in 22 days. In 22 days, that upgrade will come to pass. You will yeah. not upgrade, but you will upgrade in Jesus' name. My goodness. Lands, properties, ministries. Blessings, breakthroughs, healing, salvation, family. In 22 days, everything in your life is going to change. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Dana Elizabeth, God bless you. Hallelujah. True. Mm. All right. Come on, people of God. I'm going to give you a few more minutes before we close and before we shift. I want to see. Pastor Ben. Oh, hold on, man. I got excuse me. Yes, you can sow into the building fund afterwards. Absolutely. But even if you're watching right now, I want you to make a pledge and a commitment in your spirit and say, Keys, I'm going to sow today in Jesus. Yes, Dr. Nine, go for it. Hey, well, you know, uh, you know, I don't really understand all of this prophetic stuff. I don't. You know, this is new to me. It's foreign to me. You know, I'm still learning. Um, I noticed that in the scriptures, you know, uh, there were men of God that in very pivotal times, especially in times of famine, in times of recession. And that's why I said you cannot afford not to sow, um, especially when it comes to the prophetic. And so one of the things is the enemy wants to rob us from increase, rob us from um, expanding, upgrade. And so we know that Isaac sold in a season yeah. of famine. 
Come on. And so the prophet began to declare, uh, Dr. Ben said something earlier about wells. And so I'm telling you that your seed, when you put your seed in the ground, when you put in the anointing, I'm telling you, God's going to change your economy. There's something when it comes to finances with the prophetic. Amen. You know, so Bible declares that money answers all things. I know people try to, but listen, you know, there's some things that you won't have influence in certain things until you have a couple dollars in your pocket. You know, you can be anointed, but sometimes finances will get you in certain rooms. Come on. And so I believe that you cannot afford not to sow in this because of what was released over this broadcast, what has been shared through three prophets. And so I believe that what you sow tonight, uh, just in your generosity and just as saying, I agree, I stand with you. Amen. You don't need a deep revelation. You just need you just need to say, you know what? I love to do ministry and it's for the advancement of the kingdom. And so one of the key words for upgrade is advancement. Amen. And so we want to help to advance the work of ministry. And so that's what we're doing tonight. So we all are partners. Amen. And as the man of God said, if you could pledge, you said, listen, I, I don't have it right now to give, um, but I want to pledge. I want to come in covenant. Amen. And so I want to be a part of what you guys are doing, what Dr. Ben is doing. So we want you to partner with us. We are friends. Amen. And so we love each other. And so I just believe that this is going to be such a season. So let's advance. Let's help them push this work. We got we got uh, twenty five thousand more dollars to go. Amen. And so we want to break into that <laughs> in that number. We want to get that number down as much as possible. And I believe that we can do it tonight. Yeah. Amen. I believe that. I believe that we can do that tonight. So listen, you can sew after, but it's on the screen. Come on, so good. Anthony Caraballo, God bless you. Vanessa de Jesus, God bless you. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yeah, Jasper, God bless you. My goodness. Pastor Sharon Smith, God bless you. My goodness. And you know, because I love and I believe in the work of Dr. Akeem, this is why I want to be a blessing. I want to be a part of this. I want to rally our people. Our network rally who we know because this is good soil. This is kingdom work. And let me tell you, this is beautiful. I could really feel the pleasure of God in this because this is Psalm 133. This is, uh, you know, the, the fullness, the dew of Mount Hermon with the spirit of unity. So I could really feel that grace. And I believe that this is another example of real kingdom unity and what God wants to do on the earth. Amen. Our Lisa Reynolds, thank you. Lisa Reynolds, Sharon Smith, thank you. Vanessa De Jesus, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Praise God. Alana, Prophet Alana, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You know, it's incredible. Even, even as we're sowing, there's still, you know, 140 people watching right now, you know. 140 people who's Love the Lord and love the glory. And I yeah. of this, you know, but believe in the, the word of the prophets. Oh, my goodness. Let's give it up for the Lord, people. Come on, let's give it up for the Lord. Amen. My goodness, Dr. Akeem, Dr. Naeem, I love you guys. I can't wait till we fellowship. Again, we're going to be yeah. together in August in Orlando, yes. Florida. Thank God it's not going to be some cold. <laughs> <laughs> Orlando. We love you, too. We love you, Florida. Yes, amen. Well, men of God, God bless you. I love you. Friends, I hope you enjoyed today's broadcast, Prophetic Upgrade. And I believe that there was a real release and impartation in the spirit. Everybody, let's give it up for Dr. Akeem Naeem. Any last words that you just close? Just 30 second one minute. Anything you want to say to people as, as we close here? I just see double coming upon many of you. God says, double for your trouble, double for your shame. Get ready for this return coming to you soon. Yeah, and I just believe that this is going to be such a pivotal season for many of you. And uh, God is going to favor you. And I just heard the Lord say to tell many of you, move at the speed of your revelation. Yes. Wow, praise God. Dr. King, Dr. Naeem, I love you guys. God bless you. Can't wait to be together in Orlando and believing in 22 days. Everything's going to change. We are believing. We're standing with you. Come together as prophets, as sons of God. And we declare, we decree in 22 days, get ready for that prophetic upgrade. If you believe it, say amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. Thank you so Love much, Dr. Naeem. Love you guys. Thank you, Dr. Ben. Love you. 
Well, people of God, my goodness, that was two hours, and we just flew through that. Amen. That was two hours in the glory. We just flew through that. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I love you, and I want to say to all of you watching, thank you for being a friend, a supporter, and even if you're not, thank you for being a hater. But uh, I want to just say I love you, and uh, that was very special. I could feel, I honestly feel like we broke through something in the spirit because we're not raising up funds or sowing into my ministry. We're, we're, I'm using my plan. We're doing this to bless a friend, to bless another brother. And my God, I could just, I, I, I feel, very, feel very moved just thinking about that right now. And that's going to happen more and more, people of God. Amen. Because what's, what's mine is theirs. What's theirs is, is ours. And so that's what real kingdom family covenant is. Amen. Well, friends, prophetic upgrade. Thank you for watching. Remember, uh, next Monday we have our webinar. And then in August, I will be there in Orlando with the Twin Prophets and Steve Swanson. Thank you for giving us a like, a share. Make sure you click the bell button to be notified whenever I come on live. I come on live, you know, multiple times a week with prophetic words, impartation. Make sure you follow Dr. Akeem and Naeem Collins. People of God, I love you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, live from Aloha. And I can't wait to see you all soon in the glory. God bless you.